We're here today with Justina Valentine. She's come to talk to EGL a little bit about what's going on in her life and her new music. Welcome. Hey, girl. Thank you for having me. Everything nice girls love. Well, we wanted to talk about your new single, Candyland. Perfect. Tell us all about it, how you met. Should you be are? spread all over these streets. Um, so I'm really excited for the new single. We dropped the audio maybe about five weeks ago. Um, it's been doing really well at radio. It's been really good on uh, SoundCloud. It has like 170,000 hits. So it's being really well received. People are loving it. Freddie actually records at the same studio as me and we're from around the same way. So, you know, we've met each other before and he's a super nice, humble dude. So um, when I recorded this song, I thought it had a really cool little Caribbean flair and I was like, I think Freddie would sound really good on this. So I shot the song to him. He got back to me that he really liked it. And then one day, um, him and his camp were in the studio just talking about artists from the area, 973 and everything, and they brought me up. And Fetty was like, yeah, that record she sent me, and he started playing it. And Shy and, and Peoples were just like, oh, well, if you want, just lay, lay the verse down now. So he laid it down, Shy sent it to me, Fetty, of course, killed it. He's just, everything he touches is turned into gold right now. And, um, you know, we got it mixed, mastered, put it out, we shot the video. We just shot Fetty's part a couple weeks ago and the video is getting ready to drop now, so I'm, I'm super excited about the single, the video, and, and everything Candyland. Okay, any particular concept we're gonna see with this video? You're gonna definitely see something that you would only see in a dream, in a dream world. Okay. So, I'll, I'll tell you that, the video is, is basically a dream I have. You're a very stylish woman, very colorful, Thank very you. vibrant. What, how would you describe your music? In I would say my, I would say my music is under the umbrella of, of pop music. It's definitely heavily infused with hip hop and soul. It's singable, catchy, hear it once, so it's gonna stick in your head. I definitely have an eclectic style, so I have songs that are more jazzy, more funky, more soulful, more rap. But I would say overall my lane is like, you know, a funky pop. Yeah, it's really fun. A lot of it. I've heard the birds fly. Yeah. Oh, you had to rasp your voice. Yeah. yeah, I definitely switch it up. I don't sound the same on every record. You know, it's not like, I don't feel like all my records are predictable. You can't always predict the next single, but my last two singles have, have been kind of in the same pocket. You know, the Candyland and the Faded, both pop, up-tempo, really strong melody, Caribbean-infused vibe, so. Well, you're a very talented singer and songwriter. Can. As a writer, it's really important in this industry because, you know, get gypped a lot of other ways, but writing is really the key. Right. Um, how did you get started? I've always liked to write. I've always been theatrical since a kid, so I would start just, well, when I was a really young kid, I would take books and just copy them. Like, just write out the book. <laughs> so, I don't know what, what I was doing it for, but that's what I used to do. And then I would uh, start writing poems and you know, like, when I would learn about the different poems, like at school, like haiku or whatever, I would be like, oh, okay, so this poem has this many syllables or whatever, so I would mimic that and write my own stuff, and then I, I really started writing raps. I was a huge little Kim fan. I would put my name in her rhymes, and then I would kind of, like, almost, like, remix, like, a little Kim song, but, like, putting myself in it, and um, I just started writing raps and writing hooks, and I always like to freestyle so I would just you know say whatever came you know off the top of my brain and you know I was also raised in a very musical house my dad's a, a musician and a singer so he instilled the love of music in me. You've been in the industry for a little while now and I think it's very important especially as women for us to empower, have to empower each other. For sure. How have you been treated so far and do you feel like you've been treated fairly by like, the females that you encounter? I think overall the females that I've encountered have been good to me, especially the veteran females from the Brat to Shona to Vita. They've really embraced me and showed me a lot of love, jumped on records with me, um, co-signed me, posted, you know, songs we've done together, but then also songs I've done on my own. So they've really shown me love. I mean, the veteran, solidified women in the game. Some of the newer females that I've met haven't been 
a couple of them haven't been super nice to me, but that doesn't really discourage me or change the way I, I act towards anyone. I'm gonna always continue to treat everyone with respect from, you know, the person someone else might look at, the lowest on the totem pole to the highest because as we see in this industry, things change in a day. So whoever you encounter on the way up, you're gonna have to see him on the way back down. Shout out to my girl, Paul Johnson, because we're here at Champagne and Cereal. It's an event she throws once a month in New York City. The whole city comes out. This month is her birthday, so we're, we're turning up. Something serious. Well, since you gave her a shout out. She's another amazing female in this industry. You know, because she shows, just get that cute little face blah, in there blah, really blah. quick. She really is a real down to earth, real chick. Show me love from day one, and she's someone that is a good example and precedent for females to look at and watch the way she moves and she's about her business. So I want you to read this book. Is the shit. I want you to read this book. It's called Girl Code. It's all about Girl Code. Yes, I gotta read that. I'm on it. It's by Kara. I'm not gonna say her last name, but. Kara and the book is called Girl Code. Girl Code? The Champagne Diet is all about oh, really? empowering women, especially in this industry. I like I that. that. I'm on it. <laughs> By the next time I see you, I'll have read Girl Code. <laughs> Who else inspires you? And it doesn't Man, matter. Man, um, yeah, well, I mean, definitely, like I said, my dad's been a big inspiration in my life. Just growing up, hearing him play music from the keys to the piano to singing. So, for sure, my dad. Um, my producer and, and my big brother, Shy Bogues, who I literally started my career with, he uh, produced both Fade and Candyland. He's a huge inspiration and mentor of mine. Um, as far as artists go, I mean, uh, Little Kim, Tupac, Nana, Nas, Jay-Z, Eminem, Amy Winehouse, Beatles, Frank Sinatra, um, you know, and just life. I, I'm, I'm the type of writer and the type of artist. I don't sit and say, well, this week I'm going to write this type of song. Or I just really go on my vibe, what, either what I'm currently going through in life or what I'm feeling like. And just whatever the, the music moves me to speak about. So that's, you know, I'm inspired by life and what's going on currently in my real life. And shout out to my creative team in the building, Richie and also they got me styled for today in, in, the, in the red. I got my lovely PR Stephanie here. I, I got my brother Randy Hayes in the building, my guitarist. My team is a bunch of creative, visionaries, talented people who are all working and we're all in that grind level, really ready to get to that next level. We just need that right look that bright single to, to to go for us so um i love working with those kind of people because it's people who have the same vision as me and we're building together we're on the same level and i think that's important because then that's people that you can grow with so i think your team is everything i also have great management shots in but you know so okay so you have your team and you're all on one piece of page which is definitely very very important um what would you say to other aspiring young artists? I would say that specifically for this business, one thing you have to know and learn, and it's something you learn with time, is that you have to grow a thick skin. Yes. <laughs> and especially if you're a female, because I've learned that people are more brutal towards females. Um, you'll look at YouTube videos and different things, and People won't really necessarily comment and tell a guy they're ugly or this and that, or comment on their look, that's the first thing they'll attack you on as a female. So I think you have to have a thick skin, you have to really love yourself and your craft, you have to be dedicated, determined, unless you have a backdoor entrance, like a family member in the industry, or you just have, you know, you come from a lot of money, you know, you're gonna have to really, really work and grind it out. So it's gotta be something you love, it's gotta be something that you do because you love and you have to be very passionate. And you have to really study the craft. So. Yes, you do, absolutely.
Okay, well, it was short and sweet, but we loved everything you said. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for having me. Us. Shout out to Everything Girls Love. Thank you for coming out here to see me. My name is Justina Valentine. You can find me online. Instagram, SoundCloud, Twitter, Snapchat, at Justina Music, J-U-S-T-I-N-A Music, Facebook.com, slash Justina Music with a K. Make sure you download that brand new Candyland single featuring Fetty Wap. Video coming soon. Thank you, guys. Until next time.